Hey, Ryan Michael Galloway with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company.com, and we're talking about the logistics of equipment again. We haven't visited this for a while, and there's some interesting information that you need to know. We're talking about this damn plug, this quarter inch piece of. <laughs> anyway, and how much trouble it causes. Um, last night we talked about what it causes when it's plugged into an amplifier. I want to talk about speaker cables. Okay. Um, speaker cables. Well, we'll talk about the cables themselves later, but let's talk about this quarter-inch plug that's attached to them a lot of times. You know, there's other kinds of connectors, but often it's this one. And I was at a gig a couple of months ago, and a guy who told me that he had a lot of experience with uh, taking the equipment apart, I said, uh, go do me a favor, and uh, we need to, to shut down uh, some of the monitors that are in front of the stage and you just get ready to take them down because we're getting ready to leave, so do me a favor. And, um, and pull those down for me, get them unplugged and that kind of thing. Um, he just yanked the quarter inch cable out of the speaker without shutting down the amplifier. Now it's bad enough when you've got a guitar plugged in and you do that and it makes a big crunch. But remember last night I was telling you as you pull that wire out of whatever it's plugged into, that as it crosses that insulator it shorts. Well, now imagine that this is attached to a speaker cable, and you've got 300, 600, 1200, 1500 watts going through it. Bad idea, by the way. I hope you never do um, have the, the big amounts going through that. And as you pull it across, uh, as you take it out of the speaker, and the other end, by the way, is plugged, in, plugged into the business end, the output of the amplifier. It's got a ton of power going through it. And you pull this out and it shorts, you just shorted that side of your amplifier. Now, thank God, the Yamaha equipment I was using was built to tolerate that to a degree. I don't know how much, or maybe I just got incredibly lucky, but it didn't blow up in my amplifier. If it was any less of an amp, it would have. Um, there are some amps built now where you can literally put a screwdriver across both leads of the, the outputs and it, it can handle that short and it won't blow it up. But an awful lot of times it's gonna it's gonna blow up components of that amplifier and you're looking at an expensive repair job. So again, turn your damn amp off. Don't even turn it down. It doesn't work to turn it down. Turn your amp off before you plug unplug your speaker cables. Really big deal. Um, this can cost you a lot of money. Power down. When you're unplugging and uh, you're plugging up or unplugging your equipment is a good idea to be powered down anyway, but if it's your speaker cables, power completely down. Have that amp shut off before you yank stuff out of it. You'll save yourself a lot of trouble. I am Ryan Michael Galloway, and we don't need no stinking record company.com.